left under the arch, the flowers, which are on the tomb of the unknown soldier, side the arch, the names and the smaller names on the other side are, that's the period from 1789 to 1815. It is possible to go on top of this. If you look on the right now, you see the red couple stones corresponding to this avenue. Here you're going to see on the right now, it's called the Great Army Avenue. The 30 years on the west of Paris, about half a mile from here, down this, which is not an arch like this, but it's like an empty cube, which has been, which was built recently. All houses just the steps in the middle, no, 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 no decoration. And of course you see the Eiffel Tower there. We're going to make a little stop here so you... and then you take it to the World's Fair because he had to, to make a complete restoration of the tower. The P ministry is like uh, the Department of Health, which is the World War, because the school of saint -Cyr. In the island of saint Helena, where he was exiled after his the situation of France has changed and uh, he was brought back to France and built recently, so it's very shiny. And the buildings you can see on the right and left of the dome, uh, a wounded and disabled soldiers can leave, so the situation is difficult, but if they have no fires for the people staying for a short time, but three and this bridge was inaugurated uh, at the moment of the World's Fair in 1900. And uh, this is when the Grand Palais was inaugurated in 1900 at the same time, with the uh, liberator of uh, number one. one of the very few, the other one I know of, in central buildings, the National Assembly here on the right, with two branches, as a royal palace by King Francis I. Each king of France added a little piece to the building until Louis XIV, who abandoned the Louvre for Versailles. The building was left unfinished until more than 2,000 years ago. On this small island in also called Saint Bernard, it was totally destroyed by a fire in 1871 and rebuilt in the same Renaissance style, but in the city of Paris, 14th century. More recently, about uh, 12 or 14 years ago, uh, mayor of Paris in this vicinity, in the inner side. And notice that they are similar. I mean, the type of architecture is similar. You see only the pedestal, there's a statue. There was no more best. Uh, the other side, the left, is a new upper house which was built recently, it was inaugurated in 1980. You know the, the sign in the middle. That they are making some exchanges now. So, Church of St. Mary, which was built in the 17th century on the left, which is a Protestant church. And this is, a, you can recognize them with the horses' heads above. This is built in this district of Le Marais, still looking like a Middle Age castle somehow. Now by a, a library, a library or small museum. Very exclusive place to live. Pretty beautiful. Very much criticized. A little further, but this is here where the bus is coming back to pick us up. So as much as possible, I, a part of the island was covered by the floods of the Seine River. The other side, on the left bank, on the slopes of a small hill, which is called the hill, uh, the, the invasion is coming from the east. Oh, 
between 11 and 6 and long hours. On this point, when you are on the road, so where uh, the city was We'll, uh, we'll be going inside the church through that door, and when we go out, we go out looking behind Notre Dame, and the dust will be there picking us up. And this is the main door, representing that it is a tradition with a scale of justice. On one side, on the left side, the good people who live that way, and the friends of here. And this is the, uh, you're all the same on the day of the last one. Uh, you have to note that during the Middle Ages, very few people were going to school for the other last generation, they were no good during their lifetime. So it's usually a very simple.
Built as the chapel of the royal palace when the royal palace was there in the 30th top, but normally this was uh, uh, created in the 12th. If you look ahead of us, this lunch me, and uh, so they brought the relics of Saint Genevieve to the to the Seine River, and the Normans changed their mind. They went back to uh, to the Channel, and they never invaded Paris again. They had invaded the city before. Word meaning all God. Those of before the First World War. The right are the Luxembourg Gardens. The Luxembourg Gardens. <laughs> and if you look on the left, you see other gardens called Observatory. I guess you see the water there, um, which is a beautiful the, the uh, Institute of Art and Archaeology in the vicinity. And then there's our, in the district of the Chains Elysees, but in the late of the writers, poets, and so forth. Some buildings which were destroyed during the revolution, they could save some pieces. The bridge of Paris, it's called the Pont Royal, the Royal Bridge. It was built at the beginning of the reign of Louis XIV, so that is to say around 1660-65. Either in the 19th century or even more recently by King Francis I. Around already a museum at that time, except the wing of the Louvre, and that's the section you're going to see now on your left all along this. Oh. It's so funny. became part of Paris. Uh, there was nothing built on the slopes of the hill until practically uh, the beginning of the only... Uh, Mons Martyrum, which is two Latin words, which means the mountain of the martyrs. You remember the statue of Saint Denis with his head in it. All these things are 